It's a beautiful, beautiful Friday. Much obliged to have you join us on the maiden edition of the program, Meet the Candidates and Their Political Parties on Independent Television and Radio. My name is Sonny Duke, of course, your host on the program. With the build up of the 2020 governorship election in Edo State, apparently taking its toll in terms of electioneering activities, there is a tendency to believe that the contest is just between two political parties, talking about the All Progressives Congress, the APC, and the People's Democratic Party, the PDP. But in today's program, we unveil to you one of the contestants, a contender in the Edo State governorship election. Uh, we're talking about the National Rescue Movement. Today, we'll be having a chat with the candidate of the party, and as, as well as the national chairman of the party who are with me on set. The essence of this program is to help candidates showcase themselves, unveil their manifestos, if you like, unbundle their manifesto with a view to helping the electorate to make the best of decision in their new state governorship election, <coughs> which is just about uh, two, three weeks away. So once again, I want to say big thanks to you for joining us. And just to let you know that we are live on all our platforms you can also be part of the program in the later half of the program where our studio line will be open so you can call and ask the governorship candidate some questions. Try as much as possible to be brief so that those waiting on the line can take their turns. I want to thank you for keeping a date with us on Meet the Candidates and the Political Parties on Independent Television and Radio with your sincerely, Sonny Duke Okosun. We'll be right back right after this break. As the countdown to the Edo State Governorship election continues, we will be speaking with Steve Ozono, the governorship candidate of National Rescue Movement, NRM, one of the less prominent political parties that will be on the ballot. Our conversation with him will serve as a reminder that the race will not just be between the two major political parties, the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party. Meet the National Rescue Movement candidate for Edo State Governorship election. Steve Nash Ozono as he unveils his manifesto on ITV Radio Meet the Candidate and Your Political Party. Date Friday 28 August 2020. Time 4 p.m. prompt. You will also have the opportunity to ask the NRM governorship candidate questions via a studio line. ITV Radio meets the candidates and your political parties, helping the electorate know their candidates better. Thanks again for staying with us on Meet the Candidate and our political parties on independent television and radio this beautiful Friday evening. Well, uh, in 2014, 17th of December to be specific, the National Rescue Movement was born as a po political party with a vision of gaining power through constitutional and democratic means. And I can tell you for sure that the dream of actualizing that is coming to fruition with them featuring a candidate in their state governorship election. Just in case you're not aware that such a party exists, now you know. Not only that, you have the opportunity to interact and engage directly with the candidate of NRM for short, as well as the national chairman of the party. But first, let me welcome Senator Seydou. Nasadao for finding time to join us on the program. Senator, many thanks for coming on the program. Thank you very much indeed. Happy to be with you this afternoon. We also have with us the NRM, that is the National Rescue Movement governorship candidate for Edo State Governorship Election 2020. I'd like to thank very specially uh, my friend, our friend, your friend, who is right here with us in the studio, Stevie Ozono. Many thanks for joining us on the program. Thank you very much. Okay, let me set the tone for this conversation with uh, the national chairman, sure, the distinguished sure. Senator Seido. Sure. Uh, what informed the national rescue movement coming into existence? Uh, the, you also pride yourself as the third force. Let me get your thoughts along those lines. Yeah, honestly, you know, when the um, APC administration at the national level clocked two years in office, uh, during their first time. I and the other like minds realized that both APC and PDP 
are birds of the same feathers. And therefore, Nigeria needs a serious political party that is truly, faithfully committed to the unity of this country, committed to the development of youth in this country, to the development of women, so that especially youth in this country will be at the helm of affairs. We take charge of the destiny of this country. And that's why we developed a unique manifesto, unique constitution. We are quite distinctive, not only from PDP and APC, but of all other political parties in this country in terms of our constitution, our manifesto, our procedure for registration to become member of this party organizational structure of our party. And more importantly, respect for the rule of law is fundamental to us. And we start from the administration of our political party. We make sure that any malfeasance against the constitution of the party, against the constitution of the country, is unacceptable. We take disciplinary action. It's not sheer rhetoric. People always ask this question. All political party lay this kind of claim. I say yes, they lay that kind of claim, but you can trust whether they are faithful or not in the administration of their political parties. Okay. So uh, that's why we formed this party in order to change the turn of events not only in administration of political parties, not only in field procedure for fielding candidates, but also in the governance of this country. So that whoever we, we nominate as candidate at all levels of governance are people that are truly faithful to the unity of this country, people that are committed to the development of the <coughs> electorate, electorate fast, not the politics of money when people simply run for office in order to make money. But all our candidates we do serious due diligence to ensure that people who will feel as candidates at all levels are those that are selfless okay. by their antecedents, by their record, not yeah. by their claim. Mm. We make thorough due diligence to ensure that, yes, these are people who are not interested in acquiring money through illicit means, but people who are first and foremost interested in their various constituencies, people that will deliver, okay. not share rhetoric. Okay. You have been a part of the history that you talked about, whether as a member of PDP or as a member of APC. You have also been a direct beneficiary of all of these years that we're talking about. So to what extent uh, are you convincing us that this party will be able to live up to expectations uh, six years down the line? What impact has our NRM made uh, at the national level? No, yeah, in fact, uh, the impact we have made is that of checking accesses of both PDP and APC. Okay. The impunity gangsterism of these two political parties doing whatever they like with no respect to the, their party's constitution, with no respect to the uh, constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, that's the impact we have made by checking them. We have done a lot. Remember what happened in Zamfara and some other states? Yeah. It is the effort of the APC, uh, of the NRM that made APC to lose out in that process because of their impunity. They didn't respect the rule of law. They didn't respect their own constitution. They wanted to do whatever they wanted to do because they were the ruling party in the state and also ruling party at the national level. You made APC to lose in Zafar. Oh, or yes. you made PDP to gain. So what's the difference? No, you the, said well, these two parties no, are the being the cause of the problem. The difference is to set a lesson. Mm. Now APC has learned serious lesson. Okay. That 
there are some political parties or there is a political party in Nigeria that if you try to derail from the laid down procedures from the constitution there is a political party that will check okay. and make sure you don't get what you want. Okay, let, let, <coughs> let, let me pursue there and let me come to the NRM governorship candidate for Edo State, uh, Stevie Bozoni. Many thanks for joining us on the program. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, give yeah. us uh, in key points what is in the NRM manifesto that you have put together for Edo people in this governorship election. Well, thank you very much for being on your program. I appreciate it and uh, love what you guys are doing for Edo people. Thank you. Right. <clears throat> Our first uh, aim is to rescue the Edo people. And that is why we are here today, to actually show the Edo people that there is a third force. And this third force is NRM. And this NRM comes with a B on the logo. So if they come out, and wanted to vote, they should look at the B and vote the alternative. Because this alternative will actually rescue Edo. You know, we just have a, a very plain seven point agenda from the national um, um, agenda and the federal constitution. Because at the end of the day, the, the, the federal government of Nigeria already have a, a manifesto. Okay. If you look at it, Anybody that is ruling should know what to do for his people. But doing that for your people is actually your manifesto. So for that reason, I came up with good governance, which is the first principle of uh, my manifesto. I mean, from good governance, you can have um, a good, uh, uh, <coughs> good um, social infrastructure. You can raise good money and cut down on all the waste. Because the problem we are having at the moment, they are actually wasting okay. our resources. Yes? So f my first agenda is good governance. And the second one is infrastructure. The infrastructure covers social and physical infrastructure. Without an infrastructure, I was driving down here today. I see some abandoned schools that they said they were doing projects on. I see roads that were done halfway. This is not acceptable. All because all they do is to spend so much money <clears throat> on adverts, billboards, and at the end of the day, they come out and collect this money from projects that they were supposed to be doing for people. So my third point is agriculture. We want to revolutionize agriculture. The reason being that at the moment, all the produce from farms are not having good roads to take this food out. They perish on the way or within the community. That community now is what we are going to engage with and see how we can make this food come out and get to the public, the buying people. That is very essential, isn't it? These are the things we're talking about. The, third, uh, the uh, fourth thing is healthcare. At the moment, healthcare in a uh, state is zero. We don't have any healthcare. Nothing of that. But how do I bring all these things in? If we in Nigeria, we don't even need to bring the Chinese. There are people in this country that you can partnership with that will be able to fund some of these things as a pri uh, private partnership. Okay. That I'm looking into. Education, like I said now, um, the fifth is education. Okay. If you look at the road, like we were saying, some of the schools are abandoned, dilapidated. I, I've, I've seen videos of, of um, so many schools draining from the ceilings. That is not acceptable. It's not acceptable. I'm not going to sit down and look at this and let this happen because I have a good life you know, in the UK. Then I will just sit down and think, oh, this is OK. If I don't get involved, then I'm part of the problem. Yeah. This is the reason why I decided to throw my heart in. I don't want to be part of the problem. I even encourage younger people to get in and get us involved. So number six is development. What kind of development do I have? I have development for the youth in football, sports, and entertainment. I come from the entertainment industry. And if you look at the whole of Benin, I tell you what, you'll be shocked to see one f family that don't have a mu musician. I don't know if I'm telling you that. In Edo State, okay. that plays instrument, that wants to be a musician or that wants to be a footballer. Okay. 
So we are going to look into that and make sure we enhance the skills of these young people. Yes? So the other uh, uh, thing is our seven point is, is the, uh, woman and, uh, women empowerment. Yeah. I believe in women affirmation, whereby women can be part of the government. And we intend to make our government 60% of youth and women. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much for that very uh, robust description of what your manifesto talks about. Yeah. Now, you know that for you to make impact, for you to execute all of these projects that you highlighted, yeah. or areas that you want to focus on, you need money. Yeah. What, what is the current revenue profile of Edo State? Uh, what plans do you have to improve on that so that you can have enough resources to drive this? At the project? moment, it's over 90 something billion that they're getting in. And that's enough. And if you combine that with PPIs, uh, private partnership, we'll be able to execute all this stuff. Because if you look at it, with what they are getting in now, all they do is reverse it. Rather than spend 99% on the project, they are spending 1% on the project. Okay. This is what I'm coming in to reverse. We want to put in 99% on project. Yes? Not 1%. That's why we are just the party that said not to quarter rule. Okay. Fantastic. Um, I'd like to find out from you, what is your level of engagement with the people of Edo State in terms of the knowledge of the wards, the <laughs> units, and the local government to have been able to come out with this seven-point agenda that you think will meet their needs? Well, um, I've been asked this question before. You know, now, Some people think uh, I live abroad and uh, I don't know anything about Edo State. <laughs> to be sincere, I'm Omoto. I grew up in Edo State formerly known as Bender State. And to be sincere, I have seen the ups and downs during Ogumudia time, all the things that he created, and I'm Bruce Ali. Trust me, these things are still existing. They, all they do is just go and repaint this stuff instead of building new stuff. So growing up in my constituency in uh, Agenebode, where I come from, there was a barrack going on there. I was part of that barrack to build that barrack as a bricklayer as a young man growing up. I was a carpenter in that place. I have carried uh, uh, my guitar all around Benin. I have worked in Victor Wifel's studio producing music. I have worked in Lagos producing music with Lemmy Jackson and all of the Kimono, Oris Wiliki, uh, Majek Fashek, all those people. I'm a guitarist by profession and a sound en engineer. But my main profession is IT engineer. <coughs> I have a BSc in business and finance, and uh, uh, in business and uh, information technology. You know, these are the things I want to bring in. I want to bring in this technology to the youth of the street, even to the man that says he's a taxi park man. We want to revolutionize the way they operate. And we are here as a third force to actually take over the government. We're not here to joke. We're not here to actually discuss anything with anybody. We have the capability and the passion to make this happen. So as you were saying, what do I know about Edo? What's your level of engagement? My level of engagement yeah. has been between the grassroots. This is our secret. You know, they think without big billboard and all those things would um, like bring us down. No, we are engaging with the root and asking people questions. What are their problems? And they are telling us every day what kind of problems they've got. We've, we've seen people collect my flyers on the street because they are happy that the Ted Force is coming in to help, you know, change the narrative of Edo State, you know. So I see myself as a coat of many colors. And I'm here to actually bring color into the Edo election. We are not here to joke. We are here to take the mantles from these two big political parties that have been fighting each other so much. And I hope that everyone will look at the NRM and vote for the B. And the B is full of milk and honey. If they see the B, they know it's NRM. And someone has come to rescue them. Let me just take you on the point uh, uh, that you mentioned a while ago uh, that has to do with uh, health care. Yeah. Uh, what strategy do you have in place to advance the course of the people of those state health-wise using the platform 
of the primary health care system? Well, as you, as you know, the, there is no primary health care. It's zero. The death immortality going on in Edo State, it's, it's enormous. People are, even or pregnant people can't even deliver properly because they don't have access. My main point is to actually divide all the constituencies, we will look at it, and create a map whereby we will have one proper, yes, one proper healthcare center that will cover certain areas. We're not just going to put one somewhere and just make it happen. Then we expect somebody from like Auchi to drive all the way to Erekbe to go for healthcare. No, we will design a kind of um, uh, a map whereby we will now put each healthcare where people can reach at the point of uh, access. You talked about industrial revolution. Yeah, agri part of agriculture. Your, uh, yeah. agriculture. Yeah, yeah. You also talked about uh, industrial revolution and agriculture. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how do you intend to achieve this? Through technology. This is what is happening abroad. We don't have all these kind of farms going on here now, abroad. Things have evolved so far, far away. I still see people do the same thing they were doing. Don't forget, look, if you go all the way to uh, Ishan area, you go all the way to Auji, you go all the way to, they are big farms, good soil that people are tilling. What do we look for first? We look for <coughs> this, the soil that are favorable to certain kind of um, uh, produce. Mm. Then we will now concentrate the kind of produce there and make it happen. At the moment, as I speak to you, I've been discussing, I had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with um, some people, guys that work with fertilizer company, some people that work in the farming industry. Even um, uh, our senator here, he understands more of farming even than me. I have a team of people that are already into farming. And all we're doing, or all we're saying is, we want to change how the farm uh, at the moment is, so that we can revolutionize it, to make it more crop-oriented. We have cashews, we have, uh, we used to have um, um, corns. We have nearly everything in this country. We have a lot. And yet, we are saying we are hungry. How can we be hungry in a fertile land? It's just the way we. It's just the way we we, we, we do it. Let, let me let me come to the national. Does this um, agenda that he has highlighted mm. uh, harmonize with what the R, uh, uh, NRM yeah. has, has as yeah. a national manifesto? This is just his own thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's not just his own thing. You know, he drafted <laughs> it. You know, out of the NRM uh, yeah. manifesto. Okay. Uh, you're asking three fundamental questions yes. that you know are very dear to yeah. national rescue movement. One, where does he get money to do all the things he's talking about? Mm -hmm. And second, or well, thirdly, you asked about his level of engagement. Yes, with the people. You know, uh, with the people. And um, uh, you also talk, how is he going to develop, you know, yeah. agriculture, mm. uh, you know, for it to become, you know, kind of the engine room of the economy of, of Edo State. Let me start uh, with, from where did he get the money? The money, Edo State, the revenue Edo State is getting now is more than enough. Why? Prudent management of state resources is key. Let me give you an example. Part of our plan in the NRA, recurring expenditure in Iroche in other states at the federal level is more than 70% of the revenue. Yeah. So it is about 25% that goes to capital expenditure. And fraud, corruption, and other vices, economic vices, eat more than 50% of what you have set aside for capital expenditure. So that means of the total revenue that comes to the state, less than 15% goes to capital expenditure. Our plan in the NLM, anywhere we get government, will make sure. Remember, in the 70s, revenue expenditure used to be 25%, maximum 30% of the revenue, yep. while 70%, 75% went to uh, capital expenditure. Yeah. So therefore, that's our plan. Gradually, before four years, if we get government, we don't do any government in Nigeria, we are going to turn the tide so that capital expenditure will continue to grow. The percentage of capital expenditure will continue to grow until it reaches 70%. It's not impossible. It's possible. Well, it's possible. We have to pull down bureaucracy in such a manner that the jobs are not going to be lost. No. Rather, once you boost the percentage of capital expenditure, you are creating employment. 
So that's number one, prudent management of resources. Now, talk about level of engagement. We have developed some mechanisms. Like you said, it's a secret, but we have to say it now. <laughs> we have been working underground, meeting important personalities in those states, meeting people who matter on the grassroots level. What people don't know, we are the only political party in this country today whose structure is up to polling unit. We have executive committee at the polling unit, chairman and all the officers at the polling unit, and then ward. All structures of other political parties stop at polling unit. So we have been working at polling unit, not just to, to, to the world level. Mm -hmm. So we have been working a lot underground at the polling unit. That's where the votes are. Now, if you take our executive members and, uh, at the polling unit, we have 15 our executive members at the polling unit. If each and every executive committee member will be able to converse from his family, friends, for 10 votes, if you have 15 people, how many votes are we, are we going to get? So I'm talking about 150 votes. Now, if you were to play 150 votes by the number of polling units in those states, no governor since 1999 to date has ever gotten those 150 times of polling units of state. So uh, it's a picture you have made us to expose ourselves <laughs> by telling them, <laughs> you know. So talking about how we develop, yes. how we industrialize those states. <laughs> now, in the whole of Africa, the developed world is telling us if you want to grow your economy, develop your agriculture. Yep. And if you want to develop uh, uh, agriculture, embrace a modern mm, method mechanism, of farming, right. new technology, mm -hmm. like he said. Mm -hmm. Develop effective value chain that will be properly funded, that will be adequately and faithfully executed. This government and PD, PDP have been talking about value chain. But we that are in the farming industry have been in the farming industry since 1977. So I know Nigeria's agriculture inside out. So therefore, once we develop a true value chain mm -hmm. that is honestly and faithfully implemented, I tell you, in fact, the employment you are going to create the revenue that the nation and the states are going to generate, in fact, will double what you are getting from, from oil today. Okay. Let me, let me pause you there. If you just join us, you're watching Meet the Candidates and their political parties on independent television and radio. It's the meeting edition, meeting broadcast of the program. And today we have in the studio the governorship candidate of the National Rescue Movement, Stevie Ozono, who is here with us in the studio. Uh, we also have with us distinguished Senator, uh, Senator Seydou Mohammed uh, Dansadao, who is the national chairman of the party, giving us insight into the manifesto of the party. Uh, in, a, in a moment, we'll take a short break and we'll be back to uh, talk more on the manifesto of NRM. Right after that, we'll open our studio line so you can be part of the discussion, the conversation by calling in and asking questions. Please, when your call goes through, endeavor to turn down the audio level on your <coughs> TV or your radio set to remove the echo. That's the only way we can hear you better. Make your question as brief as possible because others are waiting on the line. And do not cast a passion on anyone and be as civil as can be so we can have a very meaningful conversation. Once again, we thank you for joining us. We'll be back with you in a moment. And as the countdown to the Adol State Governorship election continues, we will be speaking with Steve Ozono, the governorship candidate of National Rescue Movement, NRM, one of the less prominent political parties that will be on the ballot. Our conversation with him will serve as a reminder that the race will not just be between the two major political parties, the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party. Meet the National Rescue Movement candidate for a dosage governorship election. Steve
Kidnap Ozono as he unveils his manifesto on ITV Radio Meet the Candidate and Your Political Party. Date Friday, 28 August 2020. Time 4 p.m. prompt. You will also have the opportunity to ask the NRM governorship candidate questions via a studio line. ITV Radio Meet the Candidate and Your Political Parties, helping the electorates know their candidates better. Many thanks again for rejoining us on the program Meet the Candidate and Their Political Parties on Independent Television and Radio, the maiden edition of the program. Today we have the governorship candidate of NRM, Stephen Ozono, as well as the national chairman of the party, Senator uh, Seydou uh, Dansadao. I hope I got that correctly. Yeah, <laughs> thank, thank you, you very much for staying with us. Now, <laughs> let, let me come to the governorship candidate. Um, you've itemized what you want to achieve as part of your manifestos. Yep. Uh, you detail them as a seven-point yep. agenda. Yep. Um, let's talk a bit about education. You've gone around, you've seen things for yourself like you talked about. Yeah. But there are those who say that you are relatively unknown because you have been away for such a long time. Based on what you have seen, based on the experience that you have garnered, uh, all this while you've been away, what are those key action plans that you want to execute in education? You want to execute in empowerment of women and then sports. Well, I tell you what, all those people when they talk say, <laughs> I don't stay abroad, T. They they joke. Me, whether I stay abroad, most of them don't stay abroad too now. All the people in the power now, they don't stay abroad. They don't come back. But they know they execute what they see abroad. See all the governors, they will come London, come America. What do you think they can't do? They go see all the things where the education, people they go to school. In one class, you only have 20 children. You know they get 50 children. My main aim in education is to change that narrative and make school affordable. Make school affordable. So what is your people? key policy thrust in that direction? Well, Making school affordable, what is your key policy trust look if you if you actually remove all the waste in good governance all the waste when did they do we will be able to allocate these resources to education that's not our first principle okay so if they, they talk say me are they abroad i know what did they, they happen for here <laughs> they, they joke i know every nougat corner every time they happen i am well informed so my people Mona, no look me say now nah, broad person I be. I am re your son of the soil. Mona, come out and vote for us. This thing we just I'll, I'll come to you. Um, you, you talked about uh, implementing uh, um, good governance. So actually bring government. down. You talked about um, female affirmative action. Of course, you of about course. that. Yes. So are we going in your government? Are you going to have ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, thirty percent, or thirty five percent? Of thirty percent, because we are sharing it. We're making it women affirmation. Thirty percent the youths, because there are so many graduates that don't have employment, but you bring them into the government, you have created one family. You have created one family to actually have something that will spread between the family. Yeah. So we're giving young people that have just finished university 60%. If you look, my government is going to be youth development. It's all about the youth. Because at the moment, I tell you what, beautiful things are going to happen in this Edo state when we take power, the NRM. Yes, I'm not joking, because the youth are going to see that there will be change for them to actually excel to make their family proud. You hear me, so? Okay, I hear you. So let, uh, let me get to yeah, the yes, yes. Before you ask your question, mm. I think I ask you a question that the specific plan he has to make education. Yes, keep policy action. Yeah. Yeah. Policy action. Yes, yeah. Is, uh, he partially answered the question before that uh, public private partnership. Oh God, don't give too much away for them. <laughs> because they are listening you to us. Know, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let them still are there. They are doing that. Moment, you, you the want, last minute, you, you want, want to you give want, them. You want the electorate to vote for you. Yes. That can only happen when they are convinced yeah. by the critical, I mean, critical action plans that you have yes. to make their life better. And that's the platform well, that you have. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. In fact, yeah. the point is the fundamental concern on, of NRM is people of the state. Yeah. Whether we are in power or we are not in power, welfare, the education of the people of the state, you know, is growing from strength to strength. We'll be very happy. Okay. It's not that we are looking for power. 
We are just looking for power in order to help the people of the state okay. and people of this country. So therefore, let them steal our idea. That's so long as it's going to benefit the people, the of, the people of the state. That, that, that's why I said... You understand? Mm. So, we have a plan in the NRM yeah. of public-private partnership. Yeah. Remember, since the first year of Messenger's tenure, they have been talking about partnership. In fact, a power state has been created to regulate probably prior the partnership in this country. But they have been paying leave silence to it. Now applying education is that, remember, don't forget, Edo and the Imo state are the most literal states in Nigeria. True. There's no doubt about it. Nobody can contest that. Therefore, under public private partnership of the NRM government, we are going to provide the land for people to establish schools free will assist them to get nine digit interest loan to build schools will guarantee the loan the NR government will guarantee the loan people establish school and then will dictate to them what their school fees will be yeah affordable school fees so that is going to be affordable school fees and like he said in the developed world you have 20 25 maximum 30 in, people in, in class. your classroom yeah. In Nigeria today, we have states. 50. Which, what video are you talking about? <laughs> My daughter teaches in a school. When she heard me say, in the first state, there are schools with 150 pupils in one classroom. She said, Baba, in the school I teach, there are 317 pupils in one classroom. Wow. Tell me how learning is going to take place. Government, you should not be in the position. Privatization of infrastructure and services has proven in Nigeria to be the most effective thing. Look at telecommunication. Look at yep. the um, aviation industry. Aviation. Name them. So therefore, if you would take a private partnership to education, education is going to be qualitative. We are going to provide qualitative education. Okay. And at a highly subsidized rate, affordable rate, so that is a specific plan we have for Edo State True. and any other state that will get power. Okay. Uh, let me just ask um, uh, Steve. Um, in the first 100 days, what are those quick wins that will manifest in your government? Give us an idea. Good governance. Good roads. First 100 days. I'm telling you, this can be achieved in one first 100 days. But first 100 days, we have to actually see all the damages they've done. I'm going to make a feasibility study, do a risk assessment on all the issues that we are facing in this country with technocrats, people with ideas, will sit down with me. But I thought you had done that before aspiring to be... No, 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 no. Is he going to do that in the first 100 days? No, no, no. Yes. No, what I, mean, what I mean sit down with me is with what I've seen, what I've done is on the physical side, okay. looking at all the bad things now. Okay. But to you, to, to, to get a feasibility study, you need to take people out and actually interview people within uh, 10, 14 days or 30 days. Okay. Yes? Okay. Then when you get that, then you do a risk assessment. Then you draw out a chart to see exactly which area should be concentrated, you concentrate on first. So that is going to be done. And under the first 100 days, we will come up with so many ideas that will benefit the Edo people. All right, in thank fact, you. In yeah. fact, talking about 100 days, yeah. in the NRM, we don't believe in rolling out some physical infrastructure in 100 days. No. The way we are going to utilize in fast 100 days is to put up the effective policies yes. okay. by engaging stakeholders don't forget, I told you earlier on, that Edo is one of the most elite states in Nigeria. Those experts, those professionals, yeah. we are going to engage them okay. to develop policies, policies that will even emanate from the grassroots, so that we have effective policy that is people-oriented on education, on health, on agriculture, on different cadres of the economy. Okay, let's, let's open our studio line 052-290-573. That's the studio <coughs> number. Dial it right now. Tell us your name, where you're calling from, and then go ahead with your contribution. Hello, Kola. Good afternoon. Or rather, good evening. Hello. 
Tell us your name and where you're calling from. Go ahead with your question. 052 250 uh, Yeah, that's the studio number. It's on the screen now. Hello, Kola. Good evening. What's your name? Please turn down the audio level on your TV or radio. Turn it down. Turn down the audio level. Hello, good evening. What's your name? Please endeavor to turn down the audio level on your TV or radio. Or better still, move backwards so we remove the echo. With the echo, we can hear you. You can hear us. And then uh, Steve Nash will not be able to respond to you. Hello, Kola. Good Hello? afternoon. Good evening. Good, Hello. Yes, good, good evening. What's your name? Hello, is this the radio line? Yes, go ahead. What's your name? Okay, my name is Gentle John. I'm calling for Benin, Bobaka local government. Okay, Gentle John from Bobaka. Yes, go ahead, Gentle John. Okay, what does uh, yeah, Ozono, what he's saying? He's saying the fact. I love what he's saying. Understand? Because any ideals, this, want to, if you want to win this this country, sure, this country is all about idea. All, all this, uh, all, what I mean, this idea about. No, 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 what all these government are building, they want to come in through now. What, what, are, what, are, what are I promised them to do? They will build a company for the youth. It's, it's a, company, a company is not better than to go and do anything, this and this. Company is not better. When you open, the, when you open a company, then the youth will go and work. They, at, at least they will give them small money. The eye will not go outside. All right, thank you, Gentle John, from Mubaha, first caller. Hello, caller, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, good evening, sir. Madam B, calling from Benin. Madam B, calling from Benin. What part of Benin? Second is secular. All right, go ahead. Okay. Your guest in the studio is focused so well. Thank you. That the only problem is, I want to draw the attention to the fact that the two major parties, they keep going in, not only because they're rich, because they are popular. Okay, you are just coming at now. You are not popular. As you are dead people, we don't even know you. They have you dead people to go to the police center on that day. Voting for a name they barely know, they hardly heard. You people should do something about your popularity. They are there. With all these good ideas with no popularity will not bring anything at the end of the day. That's my contribution. Thank you, uh, Madam B, for your contribution. Hello, Kala. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Yes, call the number right now, 052-290-573. That's the studio number. And please endeavor to turn down the audio level on your TV <coughs> or radio to remove the echo. Hello, good evening. What's your name? That line is jam. I understand. <laughs> Hello, Kola. Good evening. What's your name? Okay, why are we expecting the cost to come? Someone yeah. mentioned, I mean, our last caller talked about yeah. the popularity. popularity. Yeah, yeah. yeah, with the good ideas, but the popularity yeah. is not there. That's yeah. what she said. So well, how, how do you respond to that? Make, make an answer, uh, Madam B. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, Madam B. Before we go to Gentle John. I hope okay. he will be gentle on us. <laughs> <laughs> well, Madam B, um, you're right. You say these two parties are popular. But their popularity, they don't already put them for trouble because they don't fit deliver within the they talk. Being popular, not be the whole thing. You get all the CVs in the world. You are popular. But are you delivering? To the people what have they delivered to you and what have they delivered so that your children will benefit from okay. nothing okay okay this is the point okay so um uh, gentle b i didn't gentle really john. get the yeah, yeah gentle yeah. john i yeah. didn't really get the question what was it was it question? said you that you need to set up a big yeah. company yes so that the youth should be engaged of course yeah the, uh, that's the employment. Yeah. We have to create the things that will create employment for Gentle John and his future children to yeah. act, actually be able. All right, let's let's to take do. more calls. Hello, Kola. Good evening. What's your name and where are you calling us from? Hello, Kola. Good evening. Good evening. My name is Scott Power. I'm calling from. What's the name? What's your name, please? My name is Desmond, you're calling us from where? God's power. God's power. God's power. Okay, God's power. Where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Isio. It's your okay. Go ahead. Uh, I love what that young man is saying. The man that has vision in this country. I love what he's saying. I'm just enjoying the man. So I would like to give the man a whole full I love what the man is doing. So I think that's all. All right, all right, Gospar, thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you for your contribution. I didn't really get that. Uh, he said he loves what you're saying, yeah. he, he, that he, lo he would love to support exactly. you. Exactly. This, he is, said. this, is, this okay. is what we are talking about. You know, people are actually tired, and people that have come to my team you know, on the road and yeah. really take my flyers are saying that this is new, and they are happy that somebody knew, even though we're, they're saying we're not popular. Okay. You know? Okay. Hello, Kala. Good evening. What's your name? What's your name? Zero five two two nine zero five seven three. Please turn down the audio level on your TV or radio. Turn it down. You don't need to hear yourself. Just uh, take the volume up to the level that you know that okay, you are live on the program, so you can contribute. If it's too loud, Hello? we'll just take you off to remove the echo. Hello, caller. Good evening. What's your name? Hello. Yes. Good, good evening. Name. What's your name? My name is Daniel. Daniel, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Benin City, Bushi, precisely. We'll see. Go ahead, please. Please, I, I want to contribute to the program. Yes, go ahead. The young man is talking well, but uh, there's something that uh, I have heard from the chairman. He's saying that uh, maybe uh, two people are not they are illiterate or something like that. He, 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 he never said that. Hmm? He never, did he say that? He didn't say that, please. He, he didn't. didn't. The Edo uh, people are illiterate. Uh, no, he said uh, Edo people uh, are the most uh, illiterate. Uh, that like Imo that. state. That's yeah. what he said. Anyway, thank you. I hope you got that correction now. Uh, tell anyway, us your name and where yeah. you're calling from. Then go ahead with your question or your contribution. Hello, caller. Hello. What's your name? Hello? Yes, go ahead. Good evening, sir. What's your name? Uh, my name is Oka Shedrak. Shedrak, where are you calling us from? Calling from Oredo. Oredo. Yes, go ahead, Shedrak. Uh, I want to say that it's the best news that has happened to the people to see an alternative party to challenge the so big party that has disappointed Nigeria and the destabilization. Okay. And I want to say we are giving them our full support. We are mobilizing our friends and our family members from all over Edo State to support them. I'm saying kudos to the young man of the studio, Steve Nashazono, for his bold idea to bring it to the table. We are going to support them come September 19 to enthrone him as the governor of Edo State. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. That's uh, uh, Shadrach already. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Shadrach. Calling us from already. Can I, can I, can yes, I quickly. just quickly yeah. uh, talk about Daniel? We was talking about uh, we, we, he misunderstood what uh, the chairman said. Yeah. We actually said uh, Edo and Imo State are the most illiterate. Yes. So please get that right. We did not say Edo people. Okay. You know. All right. Hello, caller. Good evening. What's your name? 0522905573. What's your name and where you calling us from? My name is Dr. Friday. Uh, could, you, could you speak up a little bit? My name is Dr. Friday. I'm calling from Ekpoma. Okay, Friday from Ekpoma. Yes, go ahead, Friday. Okay, um, I met uh, the young man there. He said that 99% uh, like of the income will be channeled into um, capital projects. Yes. I want to ask how this is that. I don't know if you understand the implication of that statement. When you channel 99% of the revenue into capital projects, what will happen to salary? What will happen to our uh, governance? How will you now manage that result? Okay. So he's here. He will ask, ask, answer that question. If you channel 99% of your revenue oh, into that, he must be listening, cap then. capital projects, so is... how are you going to take care of the other business of governance? No. When we say channel, yes, means the fund that are being squandered. Yes that they use one percent to actually execute project mm. we said we want to reverse that okay. and make it 99 percent we want to spend 99 percent of the fund into projects okay that's what we mean okay yes. all right uh, so that we will have those projects yeah. good water yeah i mean i i remember water works mm -hmm. do we have it anymore okay. no i i was growing up there was shower every day there was light we don't have that anymore all right, if, let's, let's take more calls. Hello, Kola, good evening. What's your name? Where are you calling us from? Hello, Kola, good evening. What's your name and where are you calling Hello. us from? Hello, good yeah. afternoon. Good evening. What's your name? Good evening. I'm calling from, my name is Michael. I'm calling from Ekawa. Um, my question is, what package do you have for the senior citizens? You will leave that road. You know how senior citizens are treated. Senior, senior citizens. Okay, so, uh, yeah, let's, let's get response. What's the yeah. package for senior citizens? Look, our package under the health care is to look after the senior citizens as well. When they get to a certain age, we want to be able to look after them. This is the social part okay. of the. 
And at the moment, nothing like that is happening. Even though they say they're giving pensions, but or do they all get pensions? Do they have a uh, um, uh, healthcare service that would actually back them up? No. Every uh, uh, old person in this country or in Edo State goes about and stay with their family without no one looking after them. So what we're going to be doing under this rule is to actually look after the elderly people as well as we look after the youth. Okay. Uh, if, if we still have some few minutes, uh, take more calls before we call it a wrap. Hello, Kola. Good evening. What's your name? Good evening. This is Brother Evans. Evans, where are you calling us from? I'm calling from Lagos. From Lagos. <laughs> okay, please uh -huh. go ahead. Uh, Evans from Lagos, go ahead. We're listening. Yes, yeah, I want to really appreciate the, the young man that is, is in the studio there. Thank Coming you. Out other fight from a uh, state because we are tired of all these old men people turning from APC to PDP turning from PDP to APC deceiving the people year and year so we we really appreciate that young man we stand for him we back him up and we vote for him for them to know that we need new men new people that we come out to make this state to be Thank you. All right, th thank you. Uh, that's much we can take on the phoning segment. Uh, thank just you, before Evans. we go, uh, we'll take final words. Let me, yeah. let, let me begin with the distinguished senator. Uh, final words on uh, NRM mission and vision. Thank you. Uh, rather than final words, I, think <laughs> I, I want to refer to the lady, the second caller, who yes. said PDP and APC are more popular than what she said or yes. are popular yes that your party is not is is not very popular that's what no, she said no, no. See, uh, I, beg, I beg to disagree yes yeah, yeah, she said with the lofty idea that you have you have I, to match it i with, understand yes. i understand yeah you see in the true sense of the word popular hmm. pdp and apc are not popular okay and even if they are the state of the nation today in fact is worse enough De to depopularize PDP and APC. <laughs> if exchange rate at the time PDP took over in 1999 was 80 naira to 100 naira to a dollar, and today dollar is 475. No. Yeah. If the state of insecurity today, after PDP and APC have been in government for, for 20, literally 22 years, is worse enough to depopularize. But she can say, they are more known because they have been in power, mm -hmm. either legitimately or illegitimately. <laughs> so they are known than the NRM, and uh, we are yet to be on power. Okay. So we are not that known. Okay. So it's not a question of we are known or we are not known. Mm -hmm. The moment we unfold our plans, what we have, antecedents of our candidate, antecedents of the leaders of the party, I think it's enough for people to have faith in us and give us a trial. Okay. That's what we are saying. Now, let me take a final word from and you. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're running <laughs> off now. Yes, a final yeah. word from you. <clears throat> I want to thank Evans that called from Lagos. Okay. Evans, thank you very much. You actually eloquently said it. We need younger people. All these people that have been ruling have been so, 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 so demoralizing to a lot of young people. Okay. And they want that change. And for us to get this change, we need to personally, personally, you know, People should come out and vote for NRM. You know, it's a B. Look at the B. It's simple. Just look, you see a B, and make sure you put your thumbprint on it. We are actually here to take over the power, and we have the capacity to do that. And this is why we are here, and we're going to do it on the uh, 19th of September. Okay, thank you very much. That's it uh, on the program. Meet the candidates and their political parties on independent television and radio, the main edition. And we've been talking with the NRM, National Rescue Movement Governorship Candidate at those states, the person of Steve uh, Ozono. Ozono, as well as the National Chairman of the party, uh, Senator Seydou Mohammed Dansadal, giving us uh, uh, an insight into what the manifesto is of the party. We're expecting other candidates who want to uh, popularize themselves showcase themselves and tell other people what they have to take advantage of this program to do just that i want to say big thanks to everyone who made the program a huge success all our crew members behind camera in the operational room thank you so much for all your contributions my name is sonny duke okos until next time we will bring you another guest on the program have a great weekend 
and bye for now. The Edo State Governorship election is here and in keeping with tradition of showcasing the candidates, the party manifestos and key action plans, independent television and radio presents Meet the Candidates and their Political Parties. This program affords you, the electorate, the opportunity to hear directly from the candidates contesting in the Edo State Governorship election come September 19, 2020, when their fate will be decided by you, their party chieftains or a representative representative of their campaign councils. Find out who the candidates are, their history, their pedigree, achievements, and the content of their party manifestos on Meet the Candidates and Their Political Parties on ITV Radio Live from now till September 17, 2020, 4 p.m. daily, Mondays to Fridays. This program will herald the much-anticipated ITV Radio Edo 2020 political debate in September. For participation and further inquiries, please score the producer meet the candidate on itv radio on 0708-365-4889 meet the candidates and their political parties on itv radio helping the electorate to make the best choice in edo 2020 this is itv certainly the best